I'm not, I'm not leaving. leaving. I've just, I just about got, got enough, enough to make it. Hold on, Lena. Or we'll the next thing. I'm the next. I'm the next. It will be enough, Sarah. Sarah. I just need a little more. Maybe we should just need to get rid of these chains. I like these chains. Like chains. Silence. You can always open the box later, right? What if we don't get the chance? Remember Tim and Alicia? And Rose? Stop. It's not going to happen. You don't know that. Your, Your money, money can save you right now. How can it save you? Look, you want to leave so bad, why don't you just go? It's just that simple. I can't just leave. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace, grace may abound? Should we? Certainly not. not. How, How shall we who die to sin, sin live any longer in it? Joshua put that, that next one there. there. And then, and of, then of course, in Exodus 20, 20, verse 2, where it says, I am the Lord, He is the authority, He is the creator, He is all. I am the Lord, Lord your God. God. He is the one that, that we have given our allegiance to. to. So, so he, he has, has the right, right and he also has our allegiance. Who brought you out of the land of Egypt, Egypt out of the house of bondage. He brought, he brought, he brought uh, Israel, Israel out of bondage. But has he brought you out of bondage? Out of bondage? Were, you Were you in chains? chains? Yes. Though, Though we, we thought, thought they're free, free, we think we're free, we think we're, free, we think we're getting, getting what we want. want. We just we saw there, he thought, he thought he was getting, getting more. more. He, thought he thought he was getting, getting wealth, he thought, he thought he was getting, getting things. things. But really, he was in bondage. But Christ came. 
and he led us out of that bondage. So he is the authority. We have come up with him, and he is trustworthy and able to bring us out of that bondage. So this, this is the introduction to the week. This is what we're looking at. And look at these Ten Commandments. But before we get started, I want to say a couple of quick things. things. One, um, I, want I want everybody to, uh, to uh, see Mrs. Mark, tell, tell her you appreciate all the, the decorations and, the, and, and how beautiful she made in the sanctuary here. here. And also, also the that came last night and decorated the Christmas tree and had a good fellowship time. It was a wonderful time last night. If you missed it, you missed something good. But, but, uh, uh, but it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. time. Thank, Thank you all for doing, doing that. Thank you for being here this morning. And, and uh, also, also we need to report on our work. work. You know, you I, know I, I think it's a lot, a lot of times, times things, things in themselves, what happens, happens to, us to us is not good. good. And, and I, I do, do not, not believe that in every situation God necessarily does things to us. But I believe that God allows things in our lives sometimes. There are things that happen in this world, hard things that happen. But, but when, when they, they happen, happen God, God can use, use those things, things to bring them out of the way. And I pray that that's, that's what's going, going on with Mark. Mark. I, 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 I got, got to visit with him and had a good conversation, conversation by the way. way. They, we're, we're very, very appreciative of the cards that you wrote that, that they was able to take. take. Uh, we, we also gave them lots of goodies and things, things uh, that, that, that some of you have and things they might like. Uh, and we're very appreciative of that. So thank you, Church, for all of that. And we'll be looking in the future also to help them in some other ways if we can. Uh, but, but continue, continue to, pray to pray for Mark. Mark. He's, uh, he's, he's very, very interested in getting to use his hands to fill that. Uh, he, he wants, wants to be able to serve and, and, and to be used that for God's glory. glory. His hands have passed. So, so, so be in prayer, prayer uh, for, for, for his, his complete healing, healing in, in that. that. All right. But back, back to our passage. passage. Now, now, I've got this is the one Sunday I'm going to stay on this. Next Sunday we're going to be looking at Christmas type sermons and things. And, and I really thought, thought well, well, the next few of these commandments, commandments are pretty easy. Um, I mean, I mean they're, they're, they're pretty, pretty simple, simple things. things. So, so I think I'll just put them all together and I'll just preach. preach. Well, I got to the first one. And there's, there's a little, little bit more there than, there than I thought. thought. So, so we're going to probably, end up after Christmas time, time take it back again and, and, and take a look at it one by one. But today, I'll show you how to go back. We're going to be looking at Exodus 20:13. And it, it just, just simply, simply says, says this, this, you, you shall, shall not murder. You shall not murder. This, this is, is one that I think, think many uh, find it, it, they believe, they believe easy, easy to accomplish. To accomplish. I, just I just don't, don't take someone's, someone's life, life from, from them. Genesis, Genesis 9, 6 through 7, 6 through 7 uh, spans on just a little bit and says, whoever sheds man's, man's, man's blood, by man's, man's blood shall be shed. shed. For, For the, the image of God, God he made man. man. You've, You've heard, heard that, that saying, this is kind of what they get to say, you know, those that live by the sword will die by the sword. For the image of God, he made man. Why is it that it is wrong to murder? Why is it that it is wrong? Well, because, because every, every life, life has worth. Worth, worth in itself, worth, worth in what it does, does know. Worth, worth because, because it was, was made in the image of God himself. This, this is, is why we feel, feel that life is sacred. sacred. Because, because it, it came, came from God's image. image. Now, now, I do want to make a quick uh, distinction here. here. Uh, uh, when, when you look, look at this, there are translations that will read, you shall not kill. But, but in our day and time, time, the way we, we use that, that word, it actually helps, helps us to make a distinction between what this is saying and what it's not saying. Say. Because this, this is saying, thou shalt not murder. You don't want to murder, right? right? You have you a bad intent in your heart, heart. and you, you take, take it out of someone else and you take it your life. But, but there, there are times that we do kill. You're saying, really? Now, I'll just put this next slide, buddy. There is, there is a, a time, time to all things. things. Listen, Listen to this in Ecclesiastes. To, to everything, there is a season. A time, a time for, for every purpose under heaven. heaven. A, time a time to be born. born. A, time a time to die. die. A time to plant. And a time, and a time to pluck as it's planted. planted. A, time a time to kill. And a time to be healed. 
a time, a time to, to break down, down, a time, time to build up, a time, time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence. And a time to speak. A time to love. And yes, a time to hate. A time of war. And a time of peace. What profit does a worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God given task with which the Son of Man had to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in this time. You think that's the way that there's a time to kill? When is there a time, time to kill? kill? My, My friends, friends, I say, I say to you this, that, that there is a problem today. Most, most of the arguments going on at the political world, world and everything, everything else has to do with this distinction, I believe. Because, because it, it is that life, life is precious, precious. But, but there are times given, given to us that we must kill. kill. Fathers, dads, moms, others. Someone breaks into your house. The lives, the lives of your family, family and your children are at stake. Do you protect them? Yes. yes. Were there, there times in Scripture when God ordained his people to go to war? war? Yes. yes. It is, it is not, not the act itself, itself that is the issue, issue but, but rather I would say it's the intention, intention of the heart. heart. For later we see on the Sermon on the Mount, when Jesus said, yes, it's written, you've heard that you should not kill. He says, but I say to you, that if you hate someone in your heart, that's as good as murder. It is not necessarily the action that is accomplished, but it is the intention of the heart behind that. How do I know that? Well, there's some passages that speak to that, and there were certain lots made in the Old Testament to make, to make this distinction between, between these two types of things. Joshua, Joshua put that in the next slide. slide. And I want, I want to show you here in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 19. 19. Listen, Listen to this. Now, now if, if the Lord, Lord your God enlarges your territory, territory as, as he swore to your fathers, and he gets to you land, land which he promised to give to your fathers, fathers. And, and if you keep all, all these commands and do which I command you today, to love the Lord your God and to walk always in his ways, then you shall have three more cities of yourself besides these three. three. Let me tell you what he's talking about here. here. There were six cities that were there. This is what he's talking about the last three, or he talks about three others. But there were six cities which were called cities of refuge in the Old Testament. These were cities that if someone killed someone unintentionally, there was an accident, something happened, there was an accident, and someone was killed. The person, rather than staying in danger of a family or a vengeance coming upon them, they could flee to one of these refuge cities. And that city would take them in and would protect them from those who are seeking vengeance. You see, there are those, there are circumstances, situations where something happens, even where there is death, but it was not the intent of the individual to kill them. So, so God, God provided them a place that they, they could go for protection. protection. And listen to this verse 10. He provides these places, places least innocent, innocent blood be shed in the midst of your land, land which the Lord your God, God is giving you as an inheritance, and thus, thus, thus guilt of blood bloodshed be upon you. You ever heard, heard that saying, uh, two wrongs don't make a right? right? That's kind of what this is saying. It allows, it allows the guilty, guilty person, person to find what else the guilty person. The person, the person who intentionally killed, killed, it gives them a place where they can be safe, and, and it gives the nation an opportunity to keep the blood of their hand, to keep the innocent blood of their hand, because vengeance, vengeance is, is not, not for us, us to give. give. Who, who gives, gives vengeance to the Lord? He does. That's, That's right. right. So, so two of us don't make the right thing. So he a place for this time that killing happened. To protect, to protect the innocent from bloodshed. Blood. Verse 11. But if but anyone hates his neighbor, lies in wait for him, him lies against, against him, and strikes, strikes him mortally, mortally, so that he dies, and he leaves one of these cities. See, we're talking about the person with the intent in the heart to kill. 
right? And he's, he's pleased with these cities. The, the, the elders of the city shall send and bring him from there, there and deliver him over to the hand of the Avidra of God, that he may die. die. I want you to notice something here. here. It, it is the elders of the city. city. It, it is the governing authorities who make the judgment and then they're not the justice. justice. Who knows, who knows what, what this one may argue for in our political system? system. Capital, Capital punishment, right? right. The right, right of the governing body to make a determination of what is justice. We need the things to kill the individual. This is where much of the argument for that comes from. from. But, but if, if a person, person kills someone, someone and the intent of their heart was to kill them, them and they flee from one of these cities, then it is the elders who are to make that judgment. It's the governing body who is to make that judgment. And, and if so, so then to take them, them and take them back, back for justice to happen. Verse 13. Your eyes shall not pity them, but, but you shall put away the guilt of innocent blood of Israel, Israel, that it may go well with you. So, so the governing authorities take, take the responsibility to bring about justice. To bring about justice. justice. But what, what about, about this person? person? You know, there's this person, person that, that talks about, about the intent of the heart, heart is, is to murder, is, is to kill, kill this way from the heart. heart. Psalm, Psalm 10, 10 describes this person. person. It says, it says he that went with one sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches, catches the poor and draws him into his, his net. net. So, so he, he crouches. crouches. He lies low. low. That the helpless may fall by his strength. strength. He has set in his, his heart. heart. God is his God. God. He hides his, his face. face. He will never see. This, this is, is the intent, the heart, the heart of the, of the murderer. murderer. Joshua, wait for the next slide. But you know you something there, there you, you think, think, well, we don't, don't murder, murder we put those, those in prison, prison who do murder. murder. But you know what I read that passage before, and I saw the person that is there in their shadows looking and seeking someone, looking and seeking the innocent so that they may kill. First thing that came to my mind had to do with our country and what we need to do to the unborn. There is no justification, justification in killing, killing a child. child. I, I believe, believe that, that, that God, God begins at the conception before our human life. life. I, don't I don't believe, believe that there are any Christians who could see anything that differed in that. Psalm 139, it says, it says For you form my inward parts. parts. You, you cover me in my mother's womb. womb. I will, I will praise, praise you for I have fears for you and wonders for you. Marvelous are your works, works and that, that my soul knows very well. well. My, my friend, friend was not hidden from you, you when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought on the lowest parts, parts of the earth. earth. Your, your eyes saw my substance, being yet unformed before I was in form. And in your book, they all were the days, days fashioned for me, me when as yet, yet there, there were none of them. From, from the, the time, time before I even took, took form in my mother's, mother's womb, he knew me. He, he had, had a place for me. Jeremiah 1, 4, 5. Then, then the word of the Lord came, came to me, saying, Before I knew you in the womb, or excuse me, before, before I formed, I formed you in the womb, womb I knew you. Before, Before you were born, born I, I sanctified you, or I set, set you apart. apart. I, I ordained or appointed you a prophet to the nations. Before he was even born, God, God has, has a plan for, for every, every man, every woman. Yeah. God, God has, has a desire and calling for each one. one. And when we, we as a society use excuses, excuses Use our own preferences, use our political stances, whatever else, to go in and to murder innocent children. And it is evil. 
I, 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 you know, you know I, I, I want, want to think, think because if you, if you, if you see, see some of the media outlets, outlets what they bring, bring they, they present it for you, you is the young woman that has so many struggles, struggles and, and, and it really hurt them if they did what they had to do. do. But to, but to be, be honest, honest with you, if you, you go, go to some of these rallies, the pro abortion rallies, you see people running around in debauchery. You see, you see people, people celebrating, celebrating the murder of innocent babies and, and laughing and, and just enjoying the whole thing. It is, it is the intent of the heart of the individual that we're that talking, talking about here. here. And my, my friend, friend is sad that the heart of this, this is we want to say, say that, well, well, but I'm, I'm not guilty of that. that. I have had, had one more sugar. sugar. Well, maybe, maybe I vote in, in a certain, certain way, way to keep, keep that from happening. And when we, we can't can only, only do, do what we can do, do but as God, God looks, looks upon our nation, nation many, many times, times his judgments, judgments don't come on the individual, they come on the nation. And the heart of our nation is a murderous heart. It is a murderous heart. We as Christians must stand for what is right. Does that mean in turn we murder others? No. Vengeance is not ours, it is the Lord's. But, but we, we do, do all that we can do. do. If, if it means to march, march, if it means to vote, vote if, if it means to write letters, letters, if it, if it means to, to, to find these young, young women, women give, give them the price, to help them to see the truth, then to do it. You know, many of these young women, Amber and I, had the opportunity, had the opportunity uh, uh, like this, this several, several years, years ago with a young, young woman, woman, and she. she <coughs> and she contacted us uh, uh, because I was, I was doing, doing youth ministry at church at the time. time. And, and she contacted us just out of sort of last, last minute, minute because she, she, she was suicidal. She didn't, she didn't know what to do in life. life. She, she had, had nobody. nobody. She had a horrible life. life. No education. education. She, she was, was pregnant. pregnant. She didn't know what, what to do. And she communicated better by text. Than she did in person. person. So, so I texted text back and forth with, with her for several, several days. days. And, and I, I wouldn't would text, text out scriptures and I wouldn't talk, talk to her about, about it, what it means. means. And she, she came, came back, back and she accepted Jesus as her Savior. And we invited her to, to, to come, come to the church, church and be with us. And she did. And, and, and one of our first visits, she actually had not told me she was pregnant yet at that time. She took Christ. But she came in and one of our first visits, and when I sat there, and, and she, she didn't know anything about the church. church. She, she didn't know anything about what we believed. She knew that the salvation was what she needed. The Holy Spirit had led her. And she, and she accepted Christ. But she came in and, 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 and we said, yeah, we want to help you. And she said, well, she said, well, she said I just need to talk to you. She said, uh, how, 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 how can you help me? How can you go about giving me abortion? And then I said, well, as Christians, we believe that life begins in conception. And we, and we believe that, that to kill that, that life for really any reason, reason is, is murder. murder. Uh, we raise very strongly with it. And, and, and I am not coming, coming up with, with, with the passages, passages and the arguments and things I had to do because I, I figured she would turn around and she would say, Oh, oh but you don't understand my situation. I can't bring this baby in the world. I don't have a way to do it. I mean, I was just thinking about all these things that were going to come out. So I was trying to find and bring up all these things and arguments and stuff so that I could convince her not to do it with this baby. And she says, Oh, really? And I said, well, well yeah, that's, that's what we believe. believe. Scripture tells us. She, she said, okay. Except for the vision. She said, okay, well, if that's, that's, if that's, if that's what the Bible says, okay. okay. But then, then of course, we had a responsibility. And I made a vision that to her that day. We told her, listen, we'll be with you here in this pregnancy where we're going to help you and deliver her baby more. We, we sent her to a children's home, home where they had, they had uh, a, a, a women's pregnancy uh, house there to learn how to be a mother, mother to learn those things. things. Uh, but she, she wanted to be home with my aunt where she had the baby. So she, she came, came back, back to live with us again and, and had the baby there. there. And, and life is not easy for her. her. Life is hard. But, but she chose to do what was right. And Christians, and Christians you know why she had that, that opportunity? opportunity? Because, because we, we were, were there to help her. 
church, church serving these young, young mothers, mothers, it doesn't, doesn't matter how they, they got that situation, not the issue. The issue, the issue is, is not, not how they, they get there. there. The, the issue, issue is that they're, they're there, there and they don't know what to do. do. And, and if they, they turn, turn most, most of their family and friends, friends, friends they're going to say, go get an abortion, just go get an abortion. But what they need first is Jesus Christ. And then they need support, they need love. They need to say, I don't care what color this baby is, I don't care what it looks like, what it is. If, if you, you have, have this baby, baby you can't, can't take care of your house, baby. baby. I'll, I'll do what's needed. That's, that's, that's how we support. That's how we love, love and support, support these, these women. women. Not, not encourage them, them to to live. Josh, Josh, took that, that, that next slide out of here for me. He's trying to give you a few statistics. One in four women have had an abortion. Did you, Did you know, know that? that? One in four women. Only 1.5% of abortions are due to rape and incest. Isn't, isn't that, that what, what the media pushes? pushes? Isn't, isn't it rape and incest is the number one thing that they, they say that we've got to have abortions because of these situations? Personally, I know those situations are horrible, but it does not give you the right to murder an innocent child. But even then, it's only 1.5% of those that have an abortion. In 2015, approximately 35% of all pregnancies in New York City ended in abortion. 35%. For African American women in New York City, more abortions happen than they are actually born. As I said, 2019 New York abortion law now allows for abortions all the way up to full term pregnancy. There are nearly one, one million, million abortions, abortions per year on average in the world. That's, That's just, just the ones that are reported. reported. Of course, Planned Parenthood is the nation's largest abortion provider. And a child's heart beat starts, starts at 21 days, days and heard from 8 to 10 weeks. Week. You know, all, all of these things, things are really good. good. I, I say, say push the legislation that pushes, pushes back. back the age, age that they, they can, can, that they they can, can do, do this abortion law, law, we can do this, this thing, thing, we can say, say. But, but ultimately, ultimately when it comes, comes down, down to a church, church there's, there's no, no way in any form or fashion, fashion can, can we present, present an argument that is okay to murder an innocent baby for any reason whatsoever. God, just click that. Now, all of that. Would you forgive, forgive me for my voice this morning? morning. I know I'm going to get a big mouth up here. here. But, but this, this morning, morning, I just, just want you to think, think on these things. things. You know, you think, think on this murder. murder. This, this idea, idea of murder. murder. Maybe Jesus, Jesus put it in that context. Not, not just, just the physical act of taking someone's life, which is not our take. It is only the Lord's take, right? He can take a life any time he wants because it is his. But we should not take that life. But Jesus, Jesus said that if we hate in our heart, the intention of our heart is in hatred, then that's as serious as murder. Y'all, have you forgiven others for their grief? And I'm not just talking about, well, oh, yeah, I've moved on from that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how you got up, went to the individuals, the persons that hurt you. The persons that you had to struggle with this thing in your heart, have you gone to them and say, I want you to know that, 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 that I've forgiven you, you for what, what, what I felt like was wrong, and I'm sorry for my part, part and I don't want to build a relationship with you. Have you done that? We can't hold hatred in our heart. heart. We cannot, we cannot just, just ignore the situation. Go all out of our business. We have to do something more. Because what is killed in our church by the intention of our heart? What is killed in our church is the unity. The part of our church that God uses to bring together to become the body of Christ as we've talked about before. To use our gifts to reach out to the world when we are in conflict, when we are butting heads, we want it our way, or we want it this way or that way. We destroy the unity and we destroy the body of Christ. We do murder what he is intended for us to be. This, this morning, morning, I want you to just take an opportunity to pray in our time of meditation. Pray, pray first, first of all for, 
for yourself. That God, God show you the hatred in your heart and give you an opportunity to make it right. right. Secondly, pray, pray for, for our church as we are through the body of Christ. Christ. And, and that we reach out, out to accomplish the commission that is set for us. But also in our nation, nation, as we are murdering hundreds of thousands of innocent little babies. Pray that God come against that. Pray, Pray whatever, whatever God, God has, has to do, bring it about.